Hi, Mike Phillips with AutoGeek.com. You know, when I first started detailing cars over 30 years ago, there were two basic polishers available on the market. Today, there are so many great polishers available for every skill set and experience. There are three basic groups of people. There's beginners. Now, these would be people that are still waxing by hand. There's experienced, and these are people that have some experience using some of the tools on the market. And then we have professionals. They've got a lot of experience, but we got some new tools to share with them too. So through this video, I'm gonna show you all these new tools and help match the right tool for your needs, your experience, and your skill set. If you're a beginner, still working by hand, you know, wax on, wax off, these are entry level, dual action orbital polishers and they're the perfect way to transition working by hand to working by machine. Now, these polishers all have a few things in common. First, they're lightweight, small and compact in size, so you don't have to get a gym membership just to detail your own car. These tools are also free spinning orbital polishers. Now, what that means is they're not direct drive. So if you press down too hard, you get into some curves or you're buffing on a raised edge, like a fender line, the pad can stall out and quit spinning. And this makes them completely safe, even for someone that's brand new to machine polishing. The orbital dual action design means that the pad is gonna rotate in a circle and then it's gonna make tiny circles inside that circle. And this is what's meant by dual action. There's two actions. And this makes them very multi-purpose tools, which means you can use them for compounding. That means to remove swirls, scratches, oxidation, and water spots. You could also use them for polishing. Say your car's only a few years old, you can restore that gloss. And you can also use these for machine waxing. You can apply your favorite Carnuba wax or synthetic paint sealant. And I'm here to tell you, machine waxing not only takes all the work out of waxing your car, but it does a better job faster. Now, these units here are also available as HD polisher. HD means heavy duty. And what this means is they're available with a heavy duty 25 foot cord pre-wired into the polisher. Now this is exclusive to AutoGeek and the benefit is you preserve the factory warranty, you protect the electronics inside the tools, and you also don't have to mess with extension cords. With a 25 foot cord you can plug in and completely work around the car without or hassling with the extension cords. So these are great entry level tools for anybody that's ready to transition from working by hand to machine polishing. Now, if you're in that intermediate category, so you have some experience machine polishing, perhaps you're a weekend warrior. You detail your own cars, friends, family, neighbors cars, or you're even a part-time detailer for profit, and you're looking for a tool with more power to get the job done faster, then here's a collection of tools that does offer more power, but they're still orbital polishers. That means they rotate the pad and they oscillate the pad at the same time. Now, at this end, we have the Griot's Garage Dual Action Polisher and the Rupes 12 millimeter Duetto. And these were in that first category, but because they offer a lot of power and there's still uses for people that have some experience, I wanted to share these two in this category. In the center here, we have what's called long orbit stroke polishers. Now, what separates these polishers from these two on the end is the orbit stroke length. These range from anywhere of 15 millimeters to 21 millimeters. And the benefit to this is that long orbit stroke removes the defects faster and also creates a super high gloss finish, plus they've got a lot more power. Right here is the Flex 3401. And what makes it unique among all these polishers and the polishers we saw previously is this is gear driven. It's the only gear driven orbital polisher on the market today. And this gives you a lot of power. So if you're looking for something to really tackle high production work, this would be the tool for you. 
And this last tool here on the end, this is the Cyclopolisher. Now, this has been around since the 1950s, and it has a reputation that's unparalleled for durability and reliability. And of course, what makes it unique is instead of having one buffing pad, it has two buffing pads. And since it's balanced and easy to handle, a lot of people really gravitate towards this polisher. So here's a collection of tools if you're in that intermediate category, you have some experience, but you're looking for more power, these would match your experience and your skill sets. Now, if you're in the third category, you're a seasoned professional. Perhaps you detail cars for money, full-time or part-time, or you work in a body shop, or perhaps you just detail your own cars, but you've been doing this for a long time and you know what you're doing. Then, we're gonna talk about the rotary buffer, and these are the tools with the most power, except you're still gonna need a DA polisher for things like removing swirls or machine applying waxes and sealants. And that would include options like the Griot's Garage Dual Action Polisher, the Rupes 21 Long Orbit Stroke Length Polisher, or the Flex 3401, which is the gear-driven orbital polisher. But for really tackling severe swirls and scratches, removing sanding marks, or say tackling an extremely oxidized gel coat boat or even a gel coat motorhome, then the rotary buffers have the most power. Now with this power comes a little bit of risk and that's why you need to know what you're doing if you're gonna operate one of these tools because these tools are designed to remove defects quickly. And if you're not careful, that could mean perhaps burning the paint or leaving swirls behind. So you definitely want to have some experience before you jump up to the rotary buffer. Now, these are the tools that kind of started it all back in the very beginning when cars were introduced to the market. It was the rotary polisher that most people were using to buff out paint. Now, I have two here that are just examples of what Autogeek carries. This is a more traditional full-size rotary buffer by Makita. And compared to the rotaries in the old days, it's, it's much lighter, but it's nowhere near as light as the Flex PE14, which weighs just a mere five pounds. And both these tools uh, are available with just a huge selection of pads, be it foam or wool or even um, microfiber pads. So you have a lot of pad options with these tools and of course with all the tools here. But this would be a selection of tools with more power for the seasoned professional that's looking to do their work faster but still maintaining professional quality results. We all know master mechanics that have those special tools just for unique or specialty type projects. Well, AutoGeek carries the largest selection of tools for doing these special type products. Now, down here, I have a selection of tools from Griot's Garage. This first one is their three inch electric mini polisher. This is a dual action orbital polisher and it's mostly for getting into tight areas or working on thin panels because it takes a much smaller pad. This is their rechargeable orbital polisher and it comes with two batteries when you buy it and believe it or not that's more than enough power to completely wax your car without a cord. This is their three inch pneumatic polisher. And if you've got an air compressor and look at this compact size, if you need to get into a tight area or again, you're working on thin panels, then this is the tool for you. They also have their Boss 10. Now this is a unique orbital polisher in the industry because it's a 10 millimeter orbit stroke length. And you can use this for compounding, polishing or machine waxing. And again, this is a pneumatic tool, it runs off air. This is unique in the industry because of its compact small size. This is the Flex Compact 3. And this is for, again, getting into tight areas or working thin panels. You can do things like put these extensions on to get the body of the tool away from the components you're working on. And because it's lightweight and very quiet, it's very popular for getting into the tight areas, thin panels, or even headlight correction real popular for doing headlights so where you sand them down then you got to go back in and buff out the sanding marks to restore clarity to foggy cloudy headlights. Rupes also has a really nice selection of specialty tools. 
This is the Rupes Mini, and this 12 up here means this is a 12 millimeter orbit stroke length orbital polisher. Again, orbital polisher, so it rotates and the pad oscillates at the same time. And this tool has a lot of power, and it can run these four inch pads. And again, these are helpful when you're doing thin panels or trying to get into tight areas. Also has this convenient tool wrist, so you can set it upside down, it won't fall over. This is the Rupes TA50. Now, this is a pneumatic tool, so you, you need an air compressor to run it, but you can see by its compact design, you can really get into some tight areas, and this thing runs two inch pads, and you can do compounding, polishing, and probably even some waxing with it if you had some small areas to work on. These are the Rupes Nano Hybrids. Now, they come in both a short neck version and a long neck version. And these are battery operated, but you can also run them with the included power cord in case the batteries do run low or you just want that extra power. Now, what makes these tools unique is you can use these in both rotary mode and also dual action orbital mode, depending on what you want to do. And these are designed to run one inch pads and two inch pads, and you can also get little brushes that attach to them for doing light scrubbing, engine detailing, interior, uh, leather seats, somewhere on the dash, things like that. You can actually also get sanding discs for them to do uh, wet sanding into small isolated areas. So these are uh, really unique tools in the industry because they're uh, rechargeable and they come in this long neck and short neck. And of course the long neck is to reach into areas like say the air scoop on a Ferrari or something like that. So we carry a lot of specialty tools here for getting into those tight intricate areas or cordless tools or, or pneumatic tools for people with air compressors. It it really just depends on what you need for the type of detailing work you do. And of course, anybody can use these safer tools like these orbital polishers, no matter the electric or the pneumatic or the size, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate, or a seasoned professional. It's really all about having the right tool for the job, and we've got the tool here at AutoGeek. As you can see, AutoGeek carries the widest selection of tools for people no matter what your background is, what your skill level is, or your experience. We have tools for beginners, people that are still working by hand, but ready to make that transition to working by machine. Intermediate tools for people that already have some experience. Seasoned professionals, we've got your tools too. And also, unique tools for specialty detailing projects. So no matter what it is you're working on, AutoGeek has the tools, the pads, and the products. For more information, visit AutoGeek.com.